Hi, I'm Samantha Clayton. I'm here with Julie. This is a beginner warm up. It's low impact, low intensity to get you ready for exercise. So let's go. Feet are apart. We're just going to warm up the shoulders, just one arm around at a time. Starting to get your breathing right, setting your intention for your workout ahead. Nice big arm circles. And let's switch sides, switch arms. The aim of a warm-up is just to get your blood flowing, get your heart rate up, and get your muscles ready for the workout ahead. Three more times around. And then let's move into a shoulder press. So hands are by your shoulders. You're gonna push up and down, up and down. So you're not pushing right up overhead. You're just pushing slightly out in front. Just warming up those shoulders. Our next exercise is going to warm up your triceps. So now, arms are into the side and just push the arms back. Stretching out the triceps. And as we go through, our movements get bigger. The blood starts flowing. Now let's warm up the sides of the body. So feet are apart, one hand's on the thigh. We're just going to reach over and reach back. We'll warm up one side first and then the other. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you need to. And you can always use your hand to support your weight if you're not used to doing sideways movements. Let's just do one more to this side and switch sides. As you go through, you'll start to feel your breathing will increase and you'll start to feel the sides of your body stretching out. Now our next exercise is to stretch out the back and the calf. So bring your feet together. You wanna stretch out the calf muscle and round out the back, come back to standing. Rounding out at the back, eyes are looking at the floor. And then you're pulling that toe towards your shin to feel a stretch down your calf. Keep it going. Now let's go back to warming up the center of the body with a simple pivot, feet are apart, arms are out front. We're just gonna to turn to one side, turn to the other. Turn to one side and the other. Always remembering to pivot on that back foot to protect those knees. Just give me two more times. Now hands are on the hips. We're just gonna come up onto the toes back down onto the heels. Warming up the calf muscles, warming up the ankles. And then we're gonna get your heart rate up. Simple side step. We're gonna step from one side, then to the other. Feel like you're dancing, getting it going, just getting the heart rate up. Just simple movement, side to side. Now we can add in a knee pull, one side, then the other. Just pulling the knee up and down. Now let's work on that quad a little more and just step to the side, hamstrings and quads. Eight. Now we're gonna go back to the top and work on your coordination by combining a few of those moves together. So let's go with our windmill, arms are out front, both arms this time. Bigger, faster movement, second time through. This time we're gonna do the shoulders and the triceps at the same time. So hands come in, we push up and back, up and back. Second time through, bigger movements here, stretching as high as you can, reaching out back. Let's warm up the sides of the body again, one side, then the other. Over and back. Really reaching a little bit further each time. Let's go back to that calf stretch, opening up the back. Heel comes forward. This time, bigger movement, really stretch out the chest. If you've been sitting down all day, this exercise is perfect to get the blood flowing through your legs, opening up the chest and back. Let's go back to that upper body pivot. Let's look a little more athletic this time. 
little lower. One side, then the other. Let's go back up onto the toes. Hands on hips, up onto the toes, here we go. And now let's go into our side step. A little bit faster this time. Getting a little lower, a little bit more athletic. Let's add in that knee drive. Moving into our last move now. We're gonna go into our hamstring tap back. So here we go, tap back. Lifting that foot up behind, touching with the hand, warming up the sides of the body and the hamstring. That's it, warm up is over. You should now be ready for your workout or you can repeat this warm up a few times through and use it as your workout. I'm Samantha Clayton and this is a beginner upper body workout where you're using your own body weight. And I'm here with Dane, we're gonna work out. Let's arms are out, let's start with iso circles. So just really tiny circles, arms are stretched out wide and just really small circles, keeping those muscles tight, keeping your core tight. Start out with forward. And then what we're gonna do is palms go down and reverse. Really isolating those shoulder muscles. For today's workout, we're going to do about 12 of each exercise and then repeat each one through for a second set. So our next exercise takes us down to the floor in what's called tabletop position. So get onto your hands and knees on your mat. You want to make sure that your wrists and shoulders are in a nice straight line and the same with the hips and the knees. Brace your core and then you're just going to walk your hands out about four paces, hold for a second and then walk back. This exercise is great for isolating the shoulders and the core. So walk it out and back in. No sagging in the hips, make sure you keep that core nice and tight so you keep that nice straight line. The stronger you get, the further you'll be able to walk out and support your body weight. Keep it going. One more time. And then we'll move into our next exercise now, which is a modified push-up. So you can do it on your knees like me, or Dane is gonna be up on his toes. So if you're strong, go with him. If not, with me. Hands are out to the sides of the chest, core is tight, and we're gonna drop the chest towards the floor and push back up. Now with this exercise, be sure to keep your eyes looking just in front of you to keep a nice neutral spine. Lower the chest, push back up. As you get stronger, you can move out of a modified position, but this is a great position to start with while you build that upper body strength. One more. And let's turn over for our next exercise. You're gonna come into a seated position. And this is like a seated row. So your toes are up, you're gonna brace your core. Both arms are out in front, make a fist. Pull one arm back, extend it forward. Other arm back, extend it forward, and then do both arms, that's one. This is great for working the core. And again, isolating those shoulders and back muscles. Really contract as you pull your arm back. We can do it without weights. You'll start to feel it the more reps that we do. But if you do have some water bottles or some weights at home, you can use them as well. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep it going. Eyes are looking forward. 
working the course. Just two more to go. And this last one, pull back, pull back, and then double. Now let's move on to our last exercise of this set. It's a tricep dip. You're gonna put your hands, your fingers are facing your booty, lift your butt up off the floor, and all we're gonna do is isolate the triceps, dip down, push up, dip, and push. So you'll really feel the backs of your arm, that tricep muscle really starting to work. And again, each one of these exercises engages your core the entire time. There you have, that's your five minute upper body workout. Try to do this routine three times through to really challenge your upper body strength. When you're ready, add in some weights. This is a five minute cardio workout. It's low impact and perfect for beginners. I'm here with Julie, my workout partner. Get ready, let's start out with a simple march. Just marching in place, moving the arms, the knees, getting it going. Every exercise we're gonna do for 20 seconds and then we're gonna repeat this workout two times through. Keep it going. Using the arms, get the knees up. Okay, our next move, we're just gonna move into a simple jog. So that movement, just a little bit bigger this time. If you're not comfortable with jogging, stay with the march. Jog it out. Our next move is to open up the hips. Start out simple, we'll go from there. Lift the knee up, out to the side. Knee up out to the side. Nice athletic move, hip openness. Now let's move this a little faster. We're gonna shuffle one way, open up. Shuffle the other way, open up. This will get your heart rate up, get your body on the move. Keep it going. Now our next move is really simple. We're gonna just two steps forward and shuffle it back. Here we go. One, two, shuffle it back. Now let's advance that a little and we're gonna just run forward, run back, run forward, run back. Getting the heart rate up. Our next exercise, simple jacks out to the side. Just right side first. Arms come out wide. Three, two, one, switch sides. Keep it going. You should start to feel your breathing, heart rate's getting up. Give me three more and let's go back to the top with a march. All the way through again this time. You know the moves, a little more intensity this time. Let's take it into a jog, here we go. Getting those feet up, pumping your arms. The bigger your movements, the more calories you're burning. Get it going. Now let's start with that hip opener, hip open to the side and back. With movements that go laterally like this, it's really great to start simple and then make your movements bigger. Let's shuffle this time, shuffle, open. Keep it going. Again, with all of these movements, it's okay if you're not ready for the shuffle, just stick with the beginner early exercise. Okay, let's go back to the front with our step, step, shuffle it back. 
How you feeling? Good? <laughs> You ready to just shuffle it forward, shuffle it back, run forward, run back. Getting up on your toes, shuffle it back. Heart rates up, work those arms. One more time forward, and then let's go straight into those side jacks. Getting a little lower this time, working the quads, working those inner outer thigh. Feel it. Are you ready to switch sides? Here we go. Switch. This is your last 20 seconds. Work hard. Push, push. There you have it. A five minute cardio routine can really get your heart rate up. But if you need more, just repeat this workout two to three times to get your cardio fixed for the day. I'm Samantha Clayton and this is a beginner lower body workout. Let's get started with squats. Feet are out wide, hip distance apart, air squats. We're gonna squat down, hips come forward. Each time you sit down, you need to focus on keeping your body weight in your heels. As you come forward, you drive your hips forward. Chest is up, chin is up, work in the glutes, work in the quads. One more. Our next exercise is a modified deadlift. We're gonna place our hands on one thigh. All you're gonna do, keeping a nice flat back, take your hands towards your knee, come back to the start. Tap back and come back. As a beginner, you keep that back foot on the floor, but as you start to improve with your balance, you can lift that one leg up behind. Let's do one more on this leg, switch legs. Down you go and back up. Most important thing here is that you keep a nice flat back. You should feel it stretching down the back of your hamstring. Give me one more. Next exercise, forward lunges. Hands are on the hips. We step forward, lower the back knee to the floor, come back to standing. Alternating sides, keeping your back nice and straight. Lowering the knee down to the floor as far as is comfortable. pushing back to standing. One more. Now our next move, we're coming up onto the calves here. So up onto the toes, back down, lateral. Up, down, lateral squat. This is great, it feels like you're working your entire body here. Start to feel it in the glute. Always remembering to breathe, remembering to sit back on those heels. As you come up onto the toes, you're really working your balance. One more each side. Now our last exercise is my favorite. Feet are just shoulders distance apart. We squat down and then we do a mini kick back. So kicking, like a kick in the door. So squat down, kick back, squat down, kick back. And now move the hands towards the hips, really kicking back, isolating those glute muscles. Kick it back. Keep it going. One more. That's your lower body workout done. Repeat again if needed. Your heart rate should be up. You should be feeling it in your quads and your glutes.
I'm Samantha Clayton. This is a beginner core workout. I'm here with my training partner, Dane. Let's get started. Get into tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna do a simple crunch. Arm comes out front as your opposite leg goes back. You crunch into the middle and then extend back out. Your eyes are looking just down in front of you to keep a nice neutral spine. And if you need to modify, go ahead and keep that back leg tapped on the floor. Let's switch sides. Opposite leg back, opposite arm forward, and then crunch to the middle to activate your core muscles. Knee to elbow. Give me one more. Now let's take it down to the floor to do a modified Superman. So arms are by your sides of your chest, eyes are looking down. You extend one arm forward as you lift up the back leg, come back to the start and lift. Down and lift. Again, it's important that your eyes are looking straight down to keep your neutral spine. And you're engaging those lower back muscles and activating the glute as you lift one leg up. Keep it going. Now let's flip over onto our back and just do a simple crunch. Really works the front of the abs. Feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent, laying back, hands are behind the ears. All you're gonna do, engage the core, lift the shoulders up off the floor. Eyes are looking up at the ceiling. Remembering to breathe. And again, your crunch is working these muscles right in the front, your rectus abdominals, what we call our six pack muscles. Keep it going. Give me two more. Now our next move, we're gonna do a modified bicycle. Extend one leg out, keeping one on the floor. That's what makes this modified. Go across the body, elbow to knee, extend out. Cross the body extend out. You should feel the muscles in the side of your abs working as well as those ones in the front. Give me one more on this side and then let's switch sides. Extend the leg out, crunch up. Take the elbow across the body, eyes are following that elbow across. One more. Now come up into a seated position. This is where we're gonna do a modified boat pose. So we're gonna keep our hands planted on the floor, fingertips facing your glutes. Leaning back slightly, we're gonna lift one leg up, keeping one leg flat, engaging the core. Place the foot down, lift the other foot up, pointing the toe. And now this time, engage your core fully, lifting both feet off the floor. Single, single, and double. This is modified because we are keeping our hands on the floor, so we're giving our tummy a little bit of help because this is a beginner workout. But as you advance in boat pose, those hands will come up, the arms will be extended, and then you'll be in full boat. Feel your core working. Give me two more. One last one. Point the toes. Feet come down, great job. So that's your five minute beginner core workout. Try to repeat it a few times through, but it really will engage your core. And whenever you work your core, make sure you do flip over and work those lower back muscles to stay balanced. I'm Samantha Clayton, and this is a beginner post-workout stretch. It's important after your workout to always stretch your muscles. This is my training partner, Julie. And let's start by stretching out the wrists and the calves at the same time. I love my combo exercises. So let's sit back, pull the toe forward, and then hold on to one hand and pull the wrist back. 
A lot of the exercises that we do, such as plank and push-up, really involve the wrists. And so I think it's really important that after every workout, you take time to stretch those muscles. Remember, pull the toe towards the shin so that you feel that stretch in the calf. And now let's push ourselves forward, coming up onto the toes. And now let's pull the wrist gently towards you. Staying up on the toes, really feeling that stretch in, in the calf muscles. You want to hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds each one. It's plenty. And then you want to just switch sides. What you do on one side, you must always do on the other to stay balanced. So start out pulling the toe back, hand in front, and again, just gently pulling back on the fingers and pulling the toe towards the shin. You should really start to feel that stretch in the back of your leg. I even feel it in my hamstring a little. And then gently rock forward, going back up onto the toes, stretching the wrist in the opposite direction this time. It's great to spend a few minutes after every workout doing a cool down helps to just get your mind ready for the rest of your day. Okay, so now bring your feet together. We're gonna to take one arm across the body to stretch out the shoulders and the back. Make sure that you hold above the elbow joint. We never wanna push on our joints. So kind of holding onto your biceps, stretching one arm across the body. And you should really feel that stretch down the back of your shoulder. A lot of people have a tendency to shrug their shoulders up, but don't pull the shoulders down, extending the neck, feel that stretch. What you do on one side, you always do on the other, open up and then cross over to the other side. Always feels good to stretch after a workout. Now another muscle that's used a lot with all our plank and push-ups is the triceps. So let's go ahead, take one arm over the back, holding just above the elbow. You wanna try and extend the hand down the back. So you're using this top hand to gently push down. What you wanna be aware of for this exercise is that you're keeping your chest lifted and that your hand is not pushing your neck forward. You wanna be looking up in front. then open up wide and then repeat on the other side. For some people, they're not very flexible in their shoulders and that's okay, just work with it. One day at a time, a few seconds at a time. This is a great stretch to do while you're sat at your desk too. And now from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it to the floor and stretch out the lower body. So go ahead, sit down first and then slowly roll out back. You want to have one leg straight, bend one knee, holding just below the knee. You want to go ahead and pull your knee into your chest and just hold right there. This is great for stretching out the hips. You should feel this stretch through the hips. You'll feel it through the hamstring. And also if you pull in tight, you can feel a stretch in your upper back too. Go ahead, slowly release, put one foot down and then lift up the other. Go ahead and hug it as tight to your chest as you can. Keeping the toe flexed. Enjoy that stretch, feel it in the inner thigh. And then you wanna go ahead and roll over onto your side because now we're gonna stretch out the quad muscles. So roll onto your side, get comfortable. Go ahead, hold onto your foot. And you just wanna gently, holding your foot, just pull back and you should feel this stretch right down the front of your quad. Feel the front of your legs stretching out, especially if you've been doing squats. And then we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna turn over onto our other side and go ahead and do that quad stretch on the other side. Really feel that stretch down the front of the thigh. 
you want to deepen the stretch, go ahead and push your foot into your hand and that will deepen the stretch. It's really important after every workout that you spend some time working on your flexibility with a cool down stretch.